Here's your Forbes Daily Briefing for Monday, January 22nd. Today on Forbes, forget bored apes and crypto punks, NFTs are making a corporate comeback. In the first week of October, non-fungible token, or NFT, trading fell to its lowest weekly level since 2020, according to data from The Block. Only $50 million worth of digital collectibles was exchanged on secondary markets. It was a bleak month for NFTs, whose trading volume plummeted from a record $3.2 billion a week in 2022, as prices slid to fractions of their crypto boom highs. The tepid activity came two weeks before Nike planned to sell more than 30,000 pairs of its popular Dunk sneakers in a collection linked to NFTs, with an increasingly popular twist that allowed non-blockchain buyers to get in on the action. Unlike virtually all of the previous efforts, buyers could pay by credit card instead of using cryptocurrency, snagging a custom-sized pair of dunks in one of three color combinations, white and blue, black and purple, and black and red. Appealing to its traditional youthful buyers worked out for Nike, with the sale bringing in $7 million, or an average of about $230 a pair, and each dunk owner would own a digital version of the sneaker on the Ethereum blockchain. It's a release model that has proven to be a useful marketing maneuver. In August 2022, Nike offered a 10-piece leisure apparel collection through its CloneX NFT line. The Beaverton, Oregon company, famous for its long relationship with Michael Jordan, has been selling NFT-related apparel since December 2022, when it released the auto-lacing CryptoKicks IRL collection of sneakers. Pieces from that inaugural offering that sold for about $900 can now fetch up to $3,000 on sneaker resale sites like StockX. Steven Vasilev, co-founder of NFT studio Artifact, which is spelled in all caps R-T-F-K-T, which was purchased by Nike in December 2021, says that the Dunk Genesis collection, quote, was a huge success. He adds, quote, even though the market is still down, our products are still bringing in new people. Non-fungible tokens are created, bought, and sold on blockchains, like cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ether. But while each currency's tokens are alike, every NFT is unique and can be used to reward users with various perks or be linked to objects in the real world. They can also be traded on numerous secondary markets, like OpenSea. The NFT landscape has drastically shifted in the two years since the tokens became part of mainstream art and pop culture. Barely more than a year ago, CryptoPunks, a collection of thousands of pixelated headshots, and the cartoon simians of Bored Ape Yacht Club commanded multi-million dollar price tags at auction. Now, the most expensive rarely trade for over $100,000. NFTs selling for over $10 million disappeared last year, and companies born out of NFT collections, like Wrecked Guy and Bored Ape's purveyor Yuga Labs, are struggling to pivot their business models away from royalty payments generated by secondary sales. The overall market shrank to $9.5 billion of revenue last year from $26.7 billion in 2022, according to CryptoSlam. Emerging from the aftermath of the NFT craze are major companies that are embracing the tokens as a cutting-edge marketing device, helping them get closer to existing customers and woo new ones. Vasilev, who is a member of the Forbes 2023 30 Under 30 retail and e-commerce list, says, quote, Where Nike serves athletes, we serve creators. We don't like the word NFT. We believe it's too technical and confuses a lot of customers, so we prefer to call them digital collectibles. Sneaker companies like Nike are at the forefront of NFT's second coming, but they are not alone. While eking out meaningful revenue or profit is a long way off, Corporate America is finding useful ways to employ the unique blockchain-based tokens in their marketing arsenals. Some companies, like Nike, are incorporating NFTs into their products, bringing virtual images to physical reality. Credit card giant MasterCard, for example, partnered with crypto neobank Hi to allow NFT users to showcase their own NFTs on the plastic cards in their wallet. Beyond physical branding, others have included blockchain elements into existing marketing strategies. Coca-Cola added NFTs to its global masterpiece advertising campaign in June, in which the company's iconic red and black bottles were passed around by animated versions of well-known artworks like Edward Munch's The Scream and Vincent van Gogh's Bedroom in Arles. 
For full coverage, check out Maria Garcia Santiana Linares' piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.